Hey guys, Brayden here, and welcome back to City Skylines. Actually, it's been that long, I feel like I should just say welcome to City Skylines. It's been a very long time since I last put up a City Skylines video. We'll run through that in a little bit, but first, welcome to Alexandria. This is the new city that we're going to be focusing on for the next little while. And yes, I will actually put some work into this series rather than Los AS... Los Aestas? Los Aestas? I think it was Aestas. People were yelling at me when I did that series that I was pronouncing it wrong. I believe it's Aestas. And I did two episodes of that and then didn't play it anymore. So that's my bad, but that's not going to happen with Alexandria. I essentially just got burned out with City Skylines with that... Not so much with that series, but just at the time I'd been playing it a lot in recent months and... I kind of got sick of it. I'm not the sort of person who spends massive amounts of time playing video games usually. And to spend 600 odd hours in City Skylines is kind of a lot. And I just needed a break. I got burned out and I sort of wish that I haven't or hadn't done that because now getting back into it, I realize that it is freaking fun and I really enjoy playing it. So, eh, live and learn. The point is I'm back now and I'm not going anywhere at least for a little while. So Alexandria is the new city. We are on the, it's, I forget the name of the map. It's the like Sh Schwarz. Schwartz something or other. Let me get up the gallery, uh, the workshop and have a little look at that. But it's a very nice map. We're in a, a valley. I'll run you through what the plans are for the building once I actually get in and do some live building. The style of the videos is going to be a little bit different. I essentially don't really want to do any building in the live stuff. Instead, I'll do all the building in or at least minimal building in the live stuff, and then just all of it done, or 90% of it done in the time lapse. Because when I'm actually recording, I say live, I know it's delayed, but you know what I mean. But when I'm recording live and trying to voice over it at the same time, essentially both of them suffer, at least with City Skylines, because with cities it's very much super detailed... Um, decorative and aesthetic stuff and it takes a lot of focus so when you're trying to commentate at the same time the commentary ends up being like oh we're going to put a tree here and oh no that tree is not in the right place we'll put a tree just to the left of oh perfect and that's not exactly exciting and then I'm trying to commentate whilst also doing the decorative stuff and then the decorative stuff suffers as well so it's essentially not beneficial to anyone at all which is why we won't be doing that anymore. So this episode, the first one, will be a little bit shorter. This will probably be more like 45 minutes. The other ones will be closer to an hour. Okay, the map's called Schweiz. Schweiz Alpine Valley. It is a European map, so I'm going to need to use the theme manager in order to uh, make sure we have the correct buildings in. I was, I did zone a couple buildings and then realized that they were mostly European. There were some other custom ones in there. But a lot of them are European, and I hate the European buildings, so we're getting rid of that. But it's a very, very nice map. Uh, I've done some modifications and stuff to it, m namely just uh, softening some slopes and fixing up some textures and then just redoing a lot of the trees throughout the map. Um, so it looks fully filled in like a big forested valley now. And I like it. It's a bit of a different style to what I've done before, sort of. It's certainly different to Los Aestas. Los Aestas. Sorry. <laughs> Los Aestas was going to be very tropical and everything, but this is more sort of, you know, conifers and pine trees and a city sticking up out of a valley, which I like the idea of. I think it'll be nice. So hopefully it turns out pretty nice. We're using the 70s vintage LUT, which is a very, 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 very nice LUT, or L-U-T, however you want to pronounce it. I like it a lot. Um, it's a pretty stylized look, but I like that. Uh, and then I forget the name of the map theme. Is it the realistic V1.4.5 European? I think that's what it is. Or maybe Daylight Classic. I'm not really sure. Either way, it's a nice little, um... It's a nice little map theme. There's a lot of new stuff in City Skylines, I've realised as well. I mean, I know the themes and everything were there before. Um, but there's a lot of new different mods and things that I need to get reacquainted with. I've got about 750 things on the workshop that I'm subscribed to, and 55 of them are mods. I have 54 enabled. The only one I don't have enables, enabled is the 81 tiles mod. I don't really need that. I should probably just unsubscribe to that. Uh, that being said, I also need to subscribe again to Traffic President. Uh, the only issue is every time I try to... Well, every time I subscribe to that and try to boot the game, it just doesn't boot for whatever reason. So that's something I need to look into. I don't know. Maybe it's not compatible 
something. I mean, when you've got 55 mods and they're not all built to work with each other, there's going to be something that's going to go wrong at some point, and that's sort of the issue I'm having. But I'll figure it out. Uh, there's also the Metro something or other Metro Overhaul. Let's have a look on the workshop. Metro. There we go. Yeah, Metro Overhaul mod. That's It does something like bringing uh, the Metro tracks above ground, so we could essentially... Uh, bring them from underground to above ground, which I think is nice. That should be good. I want to do that and you can also go underground and Look at tracks and all that sort of stuff. I've noticed the emergence of decals and things since I've been not playing City Skylines There's a lot more detail in terms of ground decals and all that sort of stuff. So that's it's good. I like it um, It's just a lot to wrap my head around. It's like the whole Space around City Skylines. It's it's all been stepped up a notch since I've been gone So I need to keep up. Hopefully I can keep up in some way. I don't know. I'll have a good hard crack. But we'll see. I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how the city's gone so far. I've essentially just started off with the main... Not so much the main part of the city yet. I think the main high-rise area will be down towards the lake. Uh, which we're not... Well, I, I mean, I guess the whole center of the city will be around that lake in terms of the main metro area and then we might have some suburbs and things sprawling out a little bit further and we also have two coastal areas as well which i think one of them will probably be used for a tourist district and the other one will be an industrial port so we can have ships and things coming in um i'm glad that we have two of them so we can sort of separate them a lot and I think our main industry area will be over near one of them, so as far away from the city as possible. I also want to redo the freeways throughout the map, because... I mean, it's not that they're bad or anything, I just kind of want to make them what I want them to be. Rather than just going off what the map's decided, or the builder of the map has decided they should be. Just whatever fits the city best is essentially what they'll end up being, but that's not that important right now. Essentially, I just want to get the foundations of the city. What you see me working on here is a little, I guess, a, a housing project of some description. I'm using a lot of the Rico buildings here. Um, Rico is a great mod, hey? I never really used it before, but it's it's good. You can essentially place um, unique buildings, and they function as actual residential and commercial and office buildings and stuff. So that's good. I like that a lot. So I'll be using that a whole bunch. Uh, another mod that I've loved as well is Move It. I think it was there, maybe, when I was playing before. Or maybe it was... I, I know there was the node editor, but that never worked for me. And then now there's move it, and it's like a godsend. You just... It, it allows you to give the finger to the game. If the game says, no, you can't play something there, or in a particular way, just move it will save your life, and probably save you from a heart attack as well. Because this is one of those games where it sort of encourages you to do really detailed stuff to make it look real nice. But then a lot of the mechanics sort of screw you over and make it difficult to do it super detailed. And then move it essentially allows you to give the finger to the game and make things as detailed as you want, which I like a lot. Um, I discovered that on stream once uh, when I was streaming City Skylines the other week. That was good fun. Speaking of which, if anyone's interested in uh, watching the streams, there'll be a link in the description. Um, I want to do a lot of City Skylines stuff. We might be doing some actual work on the city in the streams and then recording that so I can actually get your input as I'm building, I think that'd be kind of interesting. Because while I don't want to record whilst building, I think streaming might be a better way to do it because streaming is not so full on. It's a lot more chill. So if any of you want to see that, head to the link in the description. I've been streaming a lot lately as well. The good thing is I've got fast internet now. When I was doing the older series, it would take me 16 hours to upload a video and that was in like 720p. Now it's 1080 high bit rate and it takes like 35 minutes and... It's good. That's that sexy 17.5 megabit per second upload. I'm pretty bloody pleased with that. Hmm. It's good. I like it. So yeah, um, I'm a little bit rusty. I think there's some stuff that I just need to get reacquainted with in the game. Namely, just... I, th I already ran through the mods and everything, but it's just... There's a lot of assets. There's a lot of detail that goes into everything, and I just I need to step up my game. There's been a lot of new City Skylines YouTubers emerging, which is good because it makes everyone step up their game and it makes the content in the cities better. But it also means that there's more and more work going into videos that also take quite a long time. I mean, the average City Skylines video, for me at least, pro it takes at least six hours, I'd say, per video, because you've got three to four hours of actual recording to get footage for the time lapse. Then you have to go over the top of that again and voice over it and do basically what I'm doing now as well as live stuff. That's like another hour or so. 
and then it takes like two hours to edit and then you got to go find music and it's uh i'm not complaining i mean i like it i wouldn't be doing it if i didn't like it i'm i'm used to this stuff this is what i study not so much videos but i study film so i know what it's like i get it but you know it just means that you can't get videos out super often which a lot of people don't get i, I see a lot of channels i'm fortunate that i don't have that sort of audience you guys are freaking amazing it's just like patiently wait and don't yell at me and perhaps you probably should yell at me a little bit more when i don't make the videos that i say i will um but yeah i don't get hounded and i don't get the whole oh where is this series you should be making these videos blah 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 because i don't i it's probably a good thing because i don't deal with that shit well in the way that i just I don't deal with confrontation. I don't do conflict resolution, essentially. I tend to make things worse. So, it's probably best that I don't have that. Anyway, that's a story for another day. Uh, there is a collection up for Alexandria. So, all the mods that you're seeing uh, being used right now and all the assets and things, you can go and download all of them at once if you so wish. It is called... The Alexandria Collection, and that'll be in the description. There'll be a little linky-poo to that. And, oh god, I'm so uncool. There'll be a link to that in the description. God, I make a fool of myself. But it's good, there's about 780, I think the number was 780, um, items in that collection. So you can pick and choose, or you can just subscribe to all of them. That's entirely up to you. So, yeah. I mean, making collections is always tedious as shit because essentially what happens is you have to individually click on each item that you want to add to the collection but if you don't click on something for about half a second then it resets you to the top of the page and the actual area that you have to click on i.e you've got like six items on screen in this tiny little window and then by the time you've scrolled down to the next couple and are ready to click on another one it's reset to the top and then you have to scroll but it's a pain in the ass i figured it out a little bit uh you can sort of increase the size of that little window so you've got like probably 30 or 40 assets on screen at once but still i spent like a solid 20 minutes clicking 780 times to make that collection so hopefully you enjoy the collection if not then i'm just gonna jump off uh one of the bridges here in alexandria which will be nice but uh yeah if you want to go and grab some stuff from the collection you're more than welcome it's uh it's pretty cool i like it it's a nice collection i think i'm pleased with it there's a couple of things that you might want to... I don't know, it's compatibility is the only issue when making collections. I mean, everything seems to be compatible for me now. I will guarantee, probably, that if you just use what's in that collection, then your game will boot. At least it boots for me, so that's just what I'm going off. But if there's other stuff that you're adding to the collection, then that's where you may start to have issues, I'm not sure. But um, take it with a grain of salt. Pick and choose some... Uh, mods and assets if you have to check compatibility and hopefully your game will boot i don't know that's no guarantee i mean with city skylines the thing is at this point with all mods and assets installed and everything it's super unstable like ridiculously so and that's again one of the reasons that i sort of stopped playing it stopped being a game for me where i can just boot it up and play it it became a chore to actually go in and build essentially i just like to play games where i can boot it up and i can play but with city skylines it was you know have there been any updates recently that could have broken my assets okay let's make sure they're updated all right let's boot it up and then it's going to take five minutes to actually get to the main menu screen then to actually get into your save game it's going to take another 15 to 20 minutes and then once you're actually into the game then it's going to take another five minutes of you sort of moving throughout the city just to get all the different ad assets and textures and everything to load in so it'll run better than about six frames per second so it's not exactly a smooth experience and that's again one of the reasons why i stopped playing it just stressed me out it stopped being fun and it's it stressed me out a bunch so i needed to have a little break but you know getting back into it now i've realized yeah no it's not that bad i can put up with it now who knows i might get burned out again in a year's time but for now i'm pretty happy with these skylines so i've been using a couple of those little freeway pieces they're basically prefab little freeway interchanges exits and entries and stuff and i like using them actually i mean i i could make them myself but i see no point in doing that when those ones are perfectly fine as they are so i've been dropping a few of them in um, there's a little gate there i don't know why there'd be a little boom gate but 
it's there. It looks cool. Uh, at this point, all the buildings I've put in have basically been... Um... Rico, I think. And there's a, there's a couple of services in as well. I'm trying to think back to what services I put in. We put the train station in, so we've got some public transport over in that little housing development with the apartments and things. And those big sort of shopping mall things. Uh, I think they're Rico. I'm not sure if they're Rico or not. If they're actual... I don't know if they function as shops or not, or at least as places for people to work. I'm not sure I'd need to check that. But the apartments and everything definitely... Uh, operate as residential buildings as people moving into them. One thing I've noticed as well is that I need to get the land value sorted, so perhaps an, an Eden project needs to go in somewhere. I wish there were... Actually, I wonder if there are. Let's go onto the workshop while I'm just talking for a little bit. Because I'd like there to be custom Eden projects, or just buildings that have the same effect as the Eden project, because the Eden project doesn't look very good, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, what are they called? They're called monuments, aren't they? Mm. It doesn't appear that there's really anything. No, it's basically just recolored versions of those things. Yeah, I don't know why nobody's done sort of custom Eden projects and all that sort of stuff. That's weird. Someone should get onto that maybe. I should do it. I can't do that shit, but you know. Maybe there's some way you can make an asset. Just drop a, a prefab asset that vaguely looks like the Eden project and then make it function as the Eden project because I just like it because it improves your land value and then everyone makes more money and then everyone's pretty happy but I just I don't like the look of it really it doesn't look realistic enough for my liking but, you know I mean I don't want to have super realism in the city but I kind of want it to look believable I don't know. I want it to look a little bit surreal because, like, real life cities, they're a little bit crappy when you start to look at details and everything, and I'd kind of like to avoid that if I can. But it's just finding that balance of everything, really, that essentially everything in City Skylines is all about. So, there you go. I don't know. I think I don't tend to have a really rigid plan when I start building in City Skylines. I have a general idea, and then it evolves and changes as the city goes on and as it evolves itself and we start to build things I sort of think oh maybe it'd be better if things were like this or if we took this away or maybe added this style rather than just setting yourself and locking yourself into a rigid style that you have to stick to that's boring that's no fun you got no room for creativity that way so I don't know we'll take it as it comes that's my motto be Gumby as uh, one of my teachers always says Gumby's from like the 50s or something isn't he it's a little stretchy green dude. Everyone knows. Look up Gumby. Gumby's great. He's cool. He's all stretchy and shit. So we'd be, we'd be flexible like Gumby. Right? No one has any idea what I'm talking about. But, you know, now I sound like a real teacher. So, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the logo of Alexandria as well. It's a pretty cool looking little thing. It's based off of one of the actual... Um, monuments that are in the city. It's a custom asset off the workshop. And I think it's a roundabout. I believe, yeah, I think it's a roundabout, but it doesn't have any stuff around it, so I can just sort of use it wherever the hell I want. And that's essentially what I've done. So I thought, this actually looks really cool. I've already used it twice in the city. Why don't we make that the little sort of mascot or logo of the city? I thought that'd be kind of a cool idea. So that's what I've done. That's the little uh, bunch of squares and stuff that I've done. I've just basically tried to model as close as I can uh, in sort of... It's not 3D, it's 2D, but it looks a little bit 3D. Um, and then just that's... I've used that as the logo now. It's sort of a, a cheat a little bit because I haven't had to design anything from scratch. I'm just basing it off something that already exists. But um, I think it's cool. It means that we have something that we can put in the city that symbolizes the city. And uh, we can look at it and say, yes, that's Alexandria. That's the... the not the motto, but the the mascot or the the symbol of Alexandria. Uh, also, what is Alexandria? Is Alexandria a real city? I have no idea of Alexandria. I think it is, but I feel like it was an ancient city or something. Let's have a look on the Google here. Uh, Alexandria. Yeah, no, I know it's a suburb in Sydney. Okay. Egyptian. Yeah. Uh, Alexandria is the second largest city and a major economic center in Egypt. Oh. Well, what do you know then? I had oh, it's a real city today. Oh, ooh, it's a nice city. Ooh, let's look up flights to Alexandria. No, okay, different. <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. No, I don't have any money to go to Ale to go to Alexandria anyway. 
So um, let's not ruin my life with things that I can't afford. But yeah, apparently Alexandria is a real city. I did not know that. I thought it was an ancient city. Oh dear, now there's going to be Egyptians showing up and they're going to be angry that I'm not actually building their home city. Clickbait! Sell out. Look at me. Terrible person, but everyone already knew that anyway. So yeah, I'm not sure what else there is really to talk about. It's, um... I've run through everything that I've wanted to talk about so far. I'm not sure what else I can really mention. Uh, we have a couple of bigger intersections. I've sort of divided up the entrances to the city. We have uh, the only the single interchange that's feeding the city, and then the highway is split off into two. So we essentially have one road uh, draining the top section, or one so run road. God, I can't even speak anymore. One road sort of filling up the top section with cars and another one letting cars come out and then we've essentially got the same sort of thing down the bottom. I'm not sure how traffic flow is going to go. We'll modify it once we actually get people coming in. Um, the idea is once we get the live stuff or once I start recording the live stuff um, that I will zone some stuff and we'll see how traffic flows because at the moment there's like no cars in the city and we just need people to see how traffic's actually flowing. I need to get traffic president like I said before. I need that. I haven't used that in a while but I really 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 need it because it's good. I need to be able to choose where traffic goes and have that control especially with Alexandria because I think it's going to be a fairly big city. If we can hit close to a hundred maybe a hundred thousand is a bit much. If we can hit sort of 70... 75,000 citizens total, I'll be pretty bloody pleased with that. Hell, 50 would be fine. Like, 50,000 is a pretty bloody big city. You don't necessarily need 100,000 people to make it a, a big, full-feeling city. So, I don't know. Another thing that I haven't planned out, and we'll just take it as it comes, um, once you cross that sort of 70,000 citizen mark, traffic sort of starts to fall apart, and you need, like, a big overhaul of everything just to handle the load. Uh, but I guess if we try and maximize our use of public transport, um, we should we should be okay. We should survive. Also, speaking of public transport, I do not have that yet, in case anyone's wondering. I should probably shoot off an email to Colossal Order and see if they want to send me out something. To this day, I haven't actually paid for an expansion of City Skylines. <laughs> they just keep sending me the things, so maybe I should be a little piece of shit and ask them for a copy of that. I don't know. Is it good? I mean, people have been saying it's the best expansion so far because I've I've been a bit eh about the expansion so far with City Skylines. I feel like they they've been pretty irresponsible with that sort of stuff, and they're not giving anywhere near enough content for the amount of money they're charging for them. Like After Dark was all right because you know nighttime looks freaking awesome. It's worth it just for that. But Snowfall was crap. I'm sorry, it was. I didn't like that. That was not worth the money. I just... I've never really used Snowfall. I didn't really like the style of the snow. The weather effects that they added were pretty crap. Uh, the music was overbearingly loud. And it was fun for about an hour. Until you realise that you'd just rather get back and build your own city. I was kind of hoping what they would do with Snowfall was create seasons. And different separate weather effects for each season. So in winter you'd actually get snow. And then in autumn or fall for all you heathens who say fall instead of autumn, um, you'd get leaves falling off the trees and everything goes orange and then all different sorts of stuff. And maybe you'd get more rainstorms in summer and spring and that sort of stuff. I don't know. I kind of wish they would do that. Maybe that's something else they can do in the future. But yeah, I'm not a particularly big fan of snowfall. What else has there been? Um, oh, there was another one, wasn't there? Let me go into City Skylines. Uh, oh, Natural Disasters. That's right. I've haven't really touched natural disasters much. They sent me a copy in um, December-ish last year, and I played it for like a couple hours, and then I haven't actually touched it since then. So I don't know. I'm hoping public transport's good. I've heard good things so far, so I don't know. You can all tell me if it's worth buying. I think all the mods have been updated by now, so it shouldn't break the game. <laughs> Famous last words. But I don't know, we'll cross that bridge when slash if we actually ever come to it. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty much all I have to talk about. I might uh, leave you all to listen to some cool music and uh, watch the time lapse for a couple minutes and then we'll 
jump into live stuff. We've live stuff. We've got some classical music playing over in the background. If you want any of the links to the music or want to know what the songs are, there'll be links in the description. Um, so if you're interested in that, then you can go and check that out. But for now, I think I'll stop yapping before I make uh, any more of a fool of myself. It's probably too late for that nonsense now. But uh, either way, enjoy the time lapse, enjoy the music, and I will see you back in Alexandria.
So this is Alexandria, or at least the foundations of Alexandria. Not much yet, but I think for the first little time lapse, uh, there's a good amount of stuff there. Still lots that needs to be filled in and decorated and everything, but we need to just get some actual buildings in before we start doing that. Make sure our traffic and everything is actually functioning as it should be before we start going and polishing everything off because we may need to move stuff yet. Um, I'm pretty pleased. I think I think it looks all right. I need to fix a couple things though with the traffic. So let's. Uh, whoa, what are we doing over here? Okay, could you not? There we go. All right, we'll get out of the cinematic camera. The cinematic camera is lovely, by the way. Uh, okay, so let's run through what I have done. So we have the interchange over here, which is bringing traffic in. This is pre-done. Um, I need to redo all the freeways later on, uh, but I don't think we need to worry about that just yet. So it's bringing traffic in this way and they come down this road that's not as flat as I would like it to be. I can fix that later. Uh, and then they have a choice. So they can either come off here to the left, uh, which is a good choice because it brings them to this part of the city. So they essentially duck in down here. They got a choice of parking over here if they want it. And they can either head left like this little gentleman has done and uh, come up to this area or they can go right and head out over to this area. The issue I have at the moment is that we have this little... Uh, I don't know what the road's actually called. It's a pedestrian path, but cars are using it. It's a boardwalk, that's what I was looking for. And cars are actually using this at the moment, so they're coming in uh, like this way, and then they're coming through here, then they're going back out and stuff, and I don't know why. Um, so I need to fix that at some point. That's traffic manager stuff. I don't have traffic manager installed at the moment. But I'll get to that. Are you going to do it? You are the perfect example of what I'm talking about. Well done. Yeah. So I, I don't want you to do that ever, please. <clears throat> I wish Traffic Manager would stop crashing my game. Anyway, we'll uh, worry about that later. So, the other entrance uh, comes across this way. We have a nice sweeping bridge. And then it allows people to come down to this part of the city where they can head up straight up here uh, to this roundabout, which is unfinished. Or they can head out this way, uh, which I'm not sure what we're going to do out here. I think we'll build over this way. We might have some sort of high wealth luxury condos and stuff over this way in their own little separate area. And we might pull this freeway back a little bit just to give them, uh, or to minimize the noise pollution from that road. So that's all stuff that we'll do a little bit later. Uh, we have the signs or the symbols of Alexandria. Uh, which are pretty cool. There we go. I think I think I modeled that pretty well. I just basically got a picture of it and copied it as best I could. So now we have that little sign of Alexandria, which is cool. Got it over here as well. And then another one here. Just cool. This is a big old shopping center. I like this building a lot. I like this shot here. If we get in here, yeah, it's nice. Hmm. It's good stuff. I like it a lot. Uh, and then, of course, over here we have our big residential development with a couple of big buildings here. Uh, oh, that's an office. I didn't realize that. Interesting. And then over here we have another residential building. These guys, these look like they're just tourist things. I don't think they're actually functioning as shops. Uh, the Aldi, however, is... Everyone loves a good old Aldi. It's nice. It's got some extra parking over here. Uh, and also parking for the train station, which also hasn't been finished. i got a lot to do in between episodes, I know. A lot of decorative stuff. I'm not going to record most of it, just because it's all really tedious. I record some of it, but not all of it. So, I think what I want to do for today is just grab some power, so these guys stop bitching and whining. And then maybe... I mean, we've got water over here. Uh, out this way. So maybe just get a sewage dump pipe as well. I'm not sure. We'll see. Right, so, let's look at power. I like the idea of having something out on this little head here, this little point. Um, although maybe it would be better to... Um, I don't know. See, I like the idea of having some solar plants out here. See, if I get... Um, Two-lane gravel road... So if I get you... That. We could have the solar, because like, I'd like a little cafe or something just out here on the point with some parking and then maybe like a, a lookout or something up here. I think that'd be kind of nice, but we do need power and this is a pretty pristine location. Put some nice solar power things. Uh, no, I don't like that. 
Okay, maybe we just throw in something and worry about it later, because we do need to get in the industrial area. Essentially, we have an entrance to the city over here, and it merges in this three-way interchange. Uh, and then it takes it out this way, and we have the coast here. Since we already have the water and stuff out here, I think I'm going to throw our... Oh, I don't know, which is... Actually, where are the shipping ports? Let's check that. Uh, or shipping lanes, I should say. Do we have a shipping lane? Uh, we do. Okay, so there's a shipping lane there, and okay, there's also a shipping lane there. All right, well, that's good. So that means we can basically pick and choose. No, I think this is probably a better area for the industry. Uh, not industry, sorry, tourist area. Yeah, because we've got some nicer beaches out here. And we've got a nicer view of the valley. Yeah, I think this is going to be where we do our sort of beachside tourist area. And then up here, we can have our um, industry area. Because this is a lot more pristine, I think. It's nice. We can look across the river there. Yeah, this is going to be the better place, I think. Okay, so power lines. Uh, we'll go command A. Uh, control it. Gee, Jesus. See, I used Mac for a couple of weeks or years. And then all of a sudden I'm saying command instead of control. Um, my campus is a Mac campus, so I am forced to use it and I don't like it one bit. Uh, damn it. Okay. So that was all for nothing then. Excellent. So we'll go from here. And then we'll clip them together. I mean, we still need a power source after this, don't we? Sort of linking them all together, but they're powered by nothing, so... <laughs> That's great. Uh, I'm hoping this will work. I don't know if how big that building's little power area is, but I'm hoping these guys will link up. Yes, they will. Okay. They're all together now, which is good, and I think the best plan of action is just to throw five megawatts. Could we, like, throw something just in here, maybe? I don't know. Where does it look good? Just a cheeky little substation. Actually, I like the idea of it being in here. Just sort of hiding like that. It's kind of cool. And then that should give... It's actually link up power though. Uh, it does. And I don't know if that's going to be enough. Yes, it will. Okay, so we're making power. But not enough. Hmm. Okay, so we need another little one somewhere. Um, We don't really have enough of these sort of organic... Lee decorated areas, although we could throw one in there. Ooh, actually, no, I don't like that. That flattens the area around it. Dude. Maybe like that. Come on. Oh, now I can't delete it either. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha. Okay, let me go into the search function. Grab a rock. Uh, you want one of the big boffers? No, it needs to be medium I think that looks like the sort of one throw that there there we go maybe just throw it down here or something then we can decorate a little bit later just toss it in there and then we'll throw some trees and grass and stuff around it and that should look alright I hope famous last words okay so grab one of you grab one of you and then I will uh, grab this guy. Actually, you're a bit small. Grab one of you instead and toss you there. And then no one will ever know the difference. There we go. Look at that. All done. Beautiful. We're powered. Some sneaky little traf... Trafotums? Tra... Trafo... Trafotorm. Trafotorms. No idea what the hell that is. I'll look it up later. But yeah, they're just sort of sneakily hiding in there. They're right. I don't mind that. No one ever has to know. So, that's power. The only thing now is land value. Uh, high density commercial building. You have no jobs. Right. Uh, perhaps a school is in order in this area somewhere. We could have a little school complex over the back. What schools do we have? Uh, kindergarten. No. I like this guy. This is the big Phoenix High School. Oh, it's actually it's not as big as I thought. 
Actually, I wonder. I have the Warunga Elementary School. So if I grab that and then grab that. Do they look pretty... Ooh. Like a nice colourful little school complex. I like that a lot, actually. So is there a place I could do that? We've got some colours over here. So I reckon it would fit in this area. This is like a new modern development. You see a lot of these in Australia with all the big colours and stuff. Uh, so maybe... If I throw you there... And then... Should I space you out a little bit? Maybe I should. Like that. And then maybe we can do like a car park at the back or something. So... If we grab one of these roads, get out of the way. Uh, what I also want to do is get rid of road guides because they annoy the shit out of me. Uh, okay, so that can go there. And then... This doesn't look flat. Why are you not flat? Is this ground not flat? What are you trying to... Oh, it's not flat. Why is it not flat? Come on, don't be like that, guys. Don't troll me like that. Okay. It's going to be... It's going to be... Okay, yeah, though. No, there's... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's all right. No one will know. Uh, so, that'll go there. Uh, we still have prop anarchy, unfortunately. Let me put you back where you are. Get rid of all the grass out of the way. Uh, and then I might drag you across the back like so. And then we need some sort of car park in here. Uh, there's a few of them. There we go. Okay. So that's on an angle there. Now if we just fix the angle and then we put the schools back in. Come on. No, 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 fam. Fam. Don't be like that now. Don't be, don't, don't be doing that. Let's just move it. There we go. And that should reset the tiles and stuff. So that it'll actually let me place it. There we go. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh God, what am I doing? Is that place. You know, okay, that's place right. That's fine. Oh, God, this is stressing me out. Okay. I feel like there's not quite enough room. Hang on. Can I? Oh, I can do it like that. Okay. So, if I just drag you there, and then I just... Drag you across a little bit. No, I want you to be straight, but I want you to come up this way. And then you to come up this way. Like that. And then I just want to shift you ever so slightly. I think... I think we're good. Yeah, we are. Okay. Alright then. Good. So, now we grab the school... And we toss that in there. Uh, that's sort of clipping through a little bit. So if I just click move it and then I shift you across a little bit. Like that. And that's alright. And then I can just... Drag this road through in some sort of decent way. That should be f fine. Okay. I don't know if I'm explaining things very well. I'm very rusty with the whole building and commentary thing. Actually, I should be able to fit a little park in there. Du -du 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 -du. Functional parking. Three by three. No. Don't want to work. Come on. Let's uh, force zoning. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I doesn't want to park in there at all, do you? I bring you down this way. Is there... There's got to be a way to rotate. I just don't know what the hotkeys are. Oh, 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 that's how you do it. Oh, it's just right mouse button. Ooh, okay. Cool. So I just grab that. And then I grab one of these guys, and I just go move it, and I bring it over this way, and I shift it around, there we go, Whew. right, and we shrink this brush down, we fill that in, 
And then if I just go in here and I type in wall, we should have access to these guys, which can be put in a fence. Except I need to go in here and activate PLT Anarchy. There we go. Alright, just need to overhang it a little bit. And then one like that. And then we need to grab a couple of these guys. And then get small ones. And that should be good. That's the schools. Done. Cool. We can probably fit something else in along there. What's a little thing that we could throw in that way? You? No, you're way too big. Uh, there's not really any small guys. What about you? Well, you could sort of work. There we go. Cool. Alright, I'll probably throw some planters in there or something else later, but I think for a little school area... That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Alright, there you go. That is Alexandria, episode one. A lot done in the time lapse, a little bit done in the live stuff. But uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have any suggestions whatsoever, tips and tricks, there's a lot of you guys who have been playing City Skylines more than me. And uh, more recently than me, so if there's mods and assets and stuff that I need to get that I don't know about, tell me. I'll be happy to download them and use them in the city. Uh, just uh, help me get my mojo back and get refreshed with the game and stuff that I should be using. Uh, if you think of anything I should build, little projects, uh, let me know. Any ideas for the industrial area that will probably start over here next time, uh, drop them in the comments. Your feedback is always uh, much appreciated and very welcome. You're a very, very helpful community, so I appreciate that. Sorry it's been so long since City Skylines. Hopefully this series will be worth the wait. Uh, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that it is. But thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. And until then, as always, stay awesome. Wow, everybody, everybody.